Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to do a wrecked ring pour with a comb. I saw Mina Valais do this pour and uh, I don't know that I'm saying her name right but she inspired me and I think she had seen somebody else do it. So today I'm going to do a 16 by 20 artist panel smooth finish. So it's a hard board that's primed on the top, super smooth. It's just one I had around. I've got canvases, but I thought I'd give this one a whirl. And if it doesn't turn out, I can pour over it again. So I'm gonna do a ring pour, and just very quickly, Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic. <clears throat> and the big bottle from Michaels. Everything is mixed one to one with Floetrol. This is Prism Violet. Quinacridone Violet. I used all different brands to mix these paints. This one is a, what I call Periwinkle. It's a mixture of gray blue with light blue violet. Master's Touch and Liquitex. This one is uh, Liqu uh, Artist Loft Sap Green. This one is from Walmart. It's Dollar Rowney Leaf Green. This one is Artist Loft Phthalo Green. And then I added a squirt of Artist Law Iridescent Medium to all of them to give them some sparkle. And I'm also going to use Artist Loft Black Flow Acrylic, which is in a bottle with Floetrol. Everything is mixed one to one. And then I add water to get it to a better consistency. And um, no silicone is in any of these. I don't want cells per se. I do have some water with a little flow troll in it. I am going to add a squirt to each one. And because I had done a few other pours that were, I wanted it to be on the really thick side, so I'm going to thin these down just a hair. I have not done pouring in so long. I've done more artwork in the last six months and I have pouring and so these are freshly mixed but my white is a mystery white that I'm not sure if I had Floetrol or just water mixed in it. It was it's definitely kind of reacting differently than it normally would but I had I had it in an Artist Loft Flow acrylic bottle but it was real liquidy and so I'm sure I added water or something to it and put it back in there and I don't know so, you know, and the black has sat forever. So we're going to uh, layer up in this cup. And I just want a lot of contrast between the layers. And this is probably, I don't know, this is a 16 ounce cup and I want at least 12 ounces. I don't have to worry about sides because there are no sides on this So I got some drips and I'm just going to spread them around. Oh, let me show you the board really quick. Got them on cups because you can't put push pins. So it's a hard board. Uh, my grandfather was an artist. He died when I was, I think, about 12 or 13. And uh, he was an oil painter and everything he did was on hard board like this but it usually had a texture to it. I think he'd buy his own boards and cut them and prime them and everything himself. And um, But this is what he painted on all the time. So, all right. You can circle it a little bit if you want to. You can leave it totally still. You can change directions. Well, you get your colors going a little bit different directions every so often. Here comes that green, which is pretty cool. Those greens are really pretty together. Okay. 
don't know if I want to pour all my paint out or not. I think I'll save a little bit in case I need it for the corners. Popping bubbles, and you know, these colors may not work together. It's just what I had used for previous pours today, and I thought I'm going to try this because when she did it, it looked really interesting. Hers were, hers was a lot bigger canvas than mine. Hers was, you know, probably two or three times the size of this canvas. So, you know, it won't have the same results, but I think it might be kind of cool. So, I've got this big comb. <laughs> kind of scared to do it, but anyway, when you see a pretty pattern, you know, you don't want to destroy it too much. I got a lot of paint in the center, obviously. Who knows? We're going to try this. Okay, I'm going to put some more colors in the top here. with this it's different color wise everything it's cool really cool be beautiful in a black frame I to put that on my to-do list for Greg after this dries so stop the video here and show you on my cell phone a close-up of it just so you can see it from my angle 